minutes. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming.
ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as Newport High graduate Gabriel Keel performs the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please join me in welcoming the Newport Hike class of 2023. It is with the greatest of pleasures that I welcome parents, families, and friends to the 2023 Newport High School graduation program. I would like to acknowledge our dignitaries and people who have helped with tonight's program. Please stand when I introduce you. Lincoln County School District Superintendent, Dr. Karen Gray. <laughs> Secondary Director, Dr. Myalise Tolan. Lincoln County School Board Chair, Liz Martin. Lincoln County School Board Member, Mike Rawls. Administrative Assistant to the Superintendent and School Board, Eddie Simonton. Human Resources Director, Dr. Tiana DeVries. Special Education Director, Dr. Carol Stock. Healthy and Equitable Schools Administrator, Sandy Mummy. Incoming Toledo High School Principal, Chloe Minch. Uquina View Elementary Principal, Kristen Becker. Incoming Sam Case Principal, Marcy Doyle. Site Council Members Gretchen Havner and Helen Layton. Jake Carlson, who's in the back, who is live streaming graduation. And Band Director Robbie Carr. I want to say, uh, I personally want to say a big thank you to Samantha Murphy, Vicki Roller, Melinda Dye, Crystal Greenwald, lead custodian Rick Young, and all of our other Newport High staff helpers for their hard work in organizing tonight's program. Please give them a hand. And finally, thank you to my amazing assistant principals, Nathan Green and Shelley Moore, for their support. We would like to thank JC Market for the beautiful flowers and ultrasonic DJ services for the outstanding sound and lightning, lighting. Please now welcome Lincoln County School District Superintendent for her last graduation. Wow, Dr. Karen Gray.
Wow. <laughs> what an impressive event, and it's always such a beautiful graduation here at Newport High School. Thank you so much, Principal Matson. You've been incredible to work with. Greetings, families, community members, staff, school board, and the awesome graduating class of 2023. Let's hear it for them again. As the end of the 22-23 school year draws near, I am filled with gratitude and admiration for our students, staff, and families whose dedication to one another and to the mission of learning has made educational excellence possible for our students. We have so much to celebrate tonight. To the graduating class of 2023, you have remained committed to your studies grown in ways you might never have imagined, and persevered in times of extreme challenge. As you leave our schools and embark on new pathways as young adults, I hope you will remember with great fondness the special people who have been alongside you on your journey, the lessons that you've learned, the belief that you can achieve anything you set your mind to, and always maintain a lifelong love of learning. It is with pride that I commend our entire senior class for all that they have accomplished and learned this year. I also want to give a huge shout out to those who have come here today to support and celebrate our seniors and also to remember all those that could not come here today. Our families are integral to our students' success and your engagement is a cornerstone of your child's educational journey. It has been a joy, it has been a privilege to be partners in education with you all. I am very, very grateful to the many staff and administrators of the Lincoln County School District for all their heartfelt dedication, love and commitment to students, to community and to one another. Over 600 individuals make up a vast collaborative of staff who make Lincoln County School District a great place to learn and work. I thank each and every one of them for their hard work and their devotion to our school district and to its beautiful children. Finally, I wish to recognize the hardworking and dedicated Board of Education of the Lincoln County School District, Chair Liz Martin, Vice Chair Peter Vinci, Board Member Santilo McKinley, Mike Rawls and Megan Colley. Thank you so much for your tireless hours and hours that you put in to our school district and to our community. This is your celebration of our seniors too. At the end of June, my time in the district will draw to a close. When I retire, after having spent five years in the Lincoln County School District family and over four decades working in education, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for the opportunity to serve this wonderful community. I can promise you that I will work hard with incoming superintendent, Dr. Miley Tolan, and our Board of Education to ensure a smooth transition. I am very excited about what is in store for the students and community when school resumes next year. Setting sights for the 23-24 school year, the district will continue to work hard toward educational equity, building school cultures of civility and inclusion where diversity is valued, and all students truly know that they have a safe place to learn and grow. This will equip our young scholars with tools for success, prosperity, peace, and uphold our mission of every child, every day, future ready. It is with huge love in my heart for all of you that I wish you a wonderful summer filled with joy and good health. And to the seniors of the class of 2023, 
Good luck and God bless you. At the senior celebration on Monday night, I was delighted to get to stay late with students who wanted to continue working on posters for the parade on Wednesday. While chatting and just hanging out with a few of them, it occurred to me that the class of 2023 has been the yes class. Let me explain to you why. How many of you are familiar with Harry Potter and the character whose name is forbidden to be spoken of? If you aren't, I pretty much just summed it up. He goes by he who must not be named. For an older generation, we might compare it to saying the word Beetlejuice three times. My point is this, that is how I've come to feel about another word which, which references a time in history we've just gone through, which begins with a C and ends with a D and of which I refuse to speak of. However, it was during that time period, which shall not be spoken of, that we had to say no to students all the time. It was like speaking to a toddler who was trying to touch a hot stove, but all these kids wanted to do was to come to school. And then here came the class of 2023, and their, can we stay late and work on posters? Their, can we have an after game dance? There, can I be English go to Ashland? There, can DoorDash bring our lunches to school? <laughs> and there, can we walk a 10-foot bear through the hallways types of requests. They joyfully and enthusiastically started asking for things again, and it has been a tremendous pleasure to tell them yes as frequently and as reasonably as possible. What has delighted me is that they aren't afraid to ask the question. They assume they just might get a yes. It is time now for all of you to say yes to a new future, to say yes to the next part in your life's journey. You can leave behind any anchors or shackles that were hoisted on you by that time period, which shall not be spoken of, and go running in the direction of your dreams. Say yes to chasing your dreams because the joy is in the chase as much as it is in catching of those dreams. And if you're one of our students who, is, who secretly has absolutely no idea what those dreams are, don't worry. So many of those who have come before you have also had no idea what is next. So say yes every day to putting one foot in front of the other. Don't be afraid of dreaming the big dreams. Work hard. Be curious, believe that dreams do come true with hard work and diligence, and expect the yes. At Newport High, we believe it is important to teach students to take the time to thank those people who have helped them on life's journey, and it is a long-standing tradition to do so at graduation. Students, in a moment, you are going to receive three coins, just like this one, on one side of these coins is a phrase, thank you. Keep one of them as my thank you to you. You have exceeded my expectations and I am truly proud of you. The other two coins are yours to give away. As proud as I am of you, you didn't make it here on your own. Your teachers, parents, aunts and uncles, siblings, grandparents, neighbors and friends all helped you along. When I say go, you will take your coins out into the audience and give them to the individuals who you feel you need to take the time to thank today. If your staff member or coach is not present, please remember that school board members um, are standing by with the markers and baskets for you to deposit. Graduates, you may now reach under your chair for your envelope and go deliver your coins.
As we begin the next portion of our evening, many of you might feel tempted to come forward to snap a picture or two of your graduates. We beg of you to please remain seated this evening. We are live streaming, and often when you come forward, you block the view for those at home. There will be many opportunities at the end of the ceremony for that photo. For now, please enjoy and embrace the moment. The students sitting behind me have embraced opportunities to be involved during high school, earning the colored cords and medals they are wearing tonight. Students, as I mention each honor, please rise to be acknowledged. If you've earned the prestigious award Gold Cord representing National Honor Society, please stand. If you have participated, you can go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. If you have participated in our Indian education program, please stand. If you have participated in three sports each year of high school earning the Iron Paw, please rise. <laughs> Students who have been involved in music or theater all four years earning the Performing Arts Chord, please stand. If you earned the Career and Technical Education Cord, please stand. Please stand if you earned the Avid Cord. Students who participated in our Unified Program, please rise. If you earned the Biliteracy Medal, demonstrating language proficiency in multiple languages, please stand. If you have earned your associate's degree during the same time you're finishing your high school diploma, please stand. If you have earned the academic honor of valedictorian or salutatorian, please stand. We will hear from a few of our valedictorians and then we will play a video created by students which highlights all of our valedictorians and salutatorians. Please welcome to the podium Podium, valedictorians Lane Phillips, Piper Thompson, Jonathan Weiss, and Julie Zhang. Okay. Oh. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lane Phillips. And tonight, I'd like to use my time on stage to read a few pages from one of my poetry books called Ceremony by Brianna Weist. I love poetry because it can connect to everyone, no matter what you're going through or what your path is. I find it capable of transforming your thoughts and worries into the perfect words. So I hope that these pages can provide some guidance for a time of change. You were allowed to let go of your old dreams. You were not born to do just one job, play just one role, be just one person, stay in just one place. You are a constant evolution. You are a continual unfolding. You haven't met every part of yourself yet, and you haven't unearthed every desire. There is more to you, and there is more to life. But to know this, you have to do the first and most aversive thing, which is to leap without knowing exactly where you will land. What do you want your most ordinary days to look like? That's your dream, that you should pursue. 
Chase what's right for the person you are now, knowing you are still free to choose something else for the person you will one day become. You are allowed to not know, and you are allowed to make a life within the questions. The stories that are told so fluidly, the paths that are so clear, they are the ones already fully walked. They too were the ones filled with doubt at the beginning. Don't worry about fitting every piece into the picture. Take one more step forward each day and the rest will fall into place over time. The world is waiting to receive what you are longing to give. Please walk without fear, for you are forging a new path, making a new way of existing, a way for other souls to follow. Thank you. Good evening, class of 2023, family and friends. I am Piper Thompson, and I'm honored to be one of the many valedictorians speaking tonight. There's a line by Dr. Taylor Allison Swift that reads, they aren't going to help us, we have to do it ourselves. They think that it's over, but it's just begun. Only one thing can save us, only the young. I believe as young adults entering the next chapter of our lives, Wherever we go, we all carry a responsibility to improve and impact the lives of others. Our generation is next. It's our turn to do our best to make people's lives a little better every day. Although this responsibility can be overwhelmingly large to bear, and while some of us may become lawmakers and doctors that will save and protect millions of lives, most of us won't. And to that I say, look at the people around you. Go make a difference in the community you're in right now. Use your strengths to impact people, whether that's through your resources or through your time. No one can go through life alone, and I challenge you, wherever you end up going, to find a community. Find the people that support you, and you support just as much. I know that this community here in Newport has given me the right foundation in order to give back. Without a strong foundation, it is incredibly hard to build a structure that will last, and in this case, your life success. I want to thank the Newport High School teachers and staff, my Aspire mentors, Penny and Ron, my sports coaches, the Booster Club, the Rotary Club, my amazing role models who are also my amazing parents, Rob and Amy Thompson, my built-in best friends who are also my siblings, Jillian and Blair, my extended family, and my friends who are like family. This has allowed me to be up here in front of you now. Because of those people I mentioned, I wouldn't be able to give back to my community in the way that I have during my past four years at Newport High School. So, to the class of 2023, as you begin your life outside of Newport High School, I have one poem to share with you by Ruby Kaur. Remember the body of your community. Breathe in the people who sewed you whole. It is you who became yourself, but those before you are a part of your fabric. Honor your roots. So. Wherever you go, remember where you came from, and remember that your responsibility as a young person doesn't end just because you filled volunteer logs with hours or achieved a certain goal. Keep the, keep the circle of giving continuous. Be the reason someone else's life is a little better because of you. Remember, life is so much better when you do it with the people you love, so I encourage you to find your people and fully emerge yourself in the life and community you have in front of you. As we part our separate ways, I wish you the best of luck to my fellow classmates of the class of 2023. I'm excited to see where we go. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi. Good evening, guests, faculty, and fellow graduates. My name is Julie Zhang. And I'm honored to speak as valedictorian this year from a group of 14. Honestly, it upsets me that our moments together have already slipped into memories this quick. I am quite the nostalgic and stubborn person, so my life hack as of late is to violently sniff the air, cling onto objects, and belly laugh while slapping my friend's arms. Where my memories fail me, my senses can't. It's my way to pause and marinate in the feelings of the present. Although it was hard to not get ahead of myself, I realized slowing down ensured I wouldn't live in my past. Amidst the rapid and chaotic pace of the future, 
I hope we can all slow down to fully enjoy new memories without regrets. In welcoming that unknown, we should let our collective challenges guide us. For me, I grew up in a Chinese immigrant family, which meant the social cultural barriers and the obligation to fit in tested my identity. I often shielded my parents away, scared that their accents would be made fun of, or felt shame and isolation after standing up to racism because I was considered the angry girl who couldn't take a joke. Well, remembering these beginnings, empowered me to grow into my unapologetic voice and eventually build a community of support. However, it shouldn't take harmful situations to build one's voice. So, I urge my classmates, our school, and the audience to always advocate for yourself, but most importantly, the people around you whose voices are underrepresented. In signing off, I wanna thank my family, friends, teachers, and the entire NHS community. Remember to relish the present, be unapologetic, and know that annoying full storage notification on your phone just means you're enjoying life. Thank you for your time. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna lean on this um, to have a little conversation with you guys. So, I'm Jonathan Weiss. Uh, today, I kind of slouching, not really standing before you as one Val Victorian among many other Val Victorians and Salutatorians, which is pretty cool, I think. Did I say that right, Mom? Val Victorian. She's been correcting the way I've been saying that for the last couple of months. So, uh, anyways, this speech has been really challenging for me. I think this is the 26th speech I've written because I tried to find the perfect thing to sum up our 12 years together. Um, I think it was so hard because there's so many different memories that I could use to sum up our lives together. Whether it be sports, academics, teachers, or something crazy one of my classmates did. Probably something Eddie did. Um, but uh, that's when I figured I should talk about these memories. It's not the song from Into the Spider-Verse, like memories, it's not that. Um, if you guys know what that is. Um, so the reason that these memories are so important is to our lives is that we all have unique school experiences that have led to these lifelong memories. These are the things we think of immediately when we see certain things or people. These memories serve as notable experiences or lessons that we have attained throughout our 12 years of school. For me, I keep thinking about how baseball coaches always say, you can have a 300 batting average and be a Hall of Famer, which means you fail two thirds of the time, but and still be great. But if you get a 30% in school, you didn't even get credit. You didn't even probably try. So uh, I think this has helped me realize that because of the failure that I and others have experienced through sports, um, that it's shaped our academics and our work ethic. I also think about our time in school and how that has shaped our relationships and understanding of the world. These have had incredible impact on how we conduct ourselves now and after high school. Because of these experiences, of, because of these experiences that we have shared, they have shaped us into who we are today. I think that's what I've been searching for when I've been writing all these speeches. The ability to come up with something that we can all can relate to, the ability to connect and thank my fellow classmates for the past life that we have shared for the last 12 years. These memories are one of two things that we all have in common today. The first is that we're all graduating. Woohoo! And, <laughs> and the second is these memories that we have shared together. What makes these memories so important to me is that up until now, we've shared, only made these memories together. And now we go off in the world and we have to make these memories with different people. And I know we will continue to succeed and make more lifelong memories that will impact our lives because of the memories that we have shared, because of the memories that I've shared with you guys. I thank every, every one of you guys for these memories and experiences. I wouldn't have it any other way. Go Cubs, class of 2023, out. One more time, please celebrate the valedictorians and salutatorians for the class of 2023. Now, please welcome IB coordinator Jody Hanna.
going to show you a quick video first.
Before I begin, I'd like to clarify, um, they cut off part of what I said about Harper. She was going to inadvertently start a war between the United States and Canada. Um, it is a privilege for me to be here today to honor our 2023 graduates. I've had the opportunity to work with many of the students graduating today, and I am proud of their determination and grit. We have many wonderful courses, programs, and extracurricular activities at Newport High School, and I have the awesome job of overseeing the challenging, globally recognized International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. Many Newport High School students sign up for the added academic challenge of taking one or more IB courses. These college level courses offer students an opportunity to learn the skills necessary for success at a four year college or university. This year is the 16th year Newport High School has graduated International Baccalaureate Diploma candidates. And we had 46 students take 138 IB exams. And I would like to say to all of them one last time, do you have anything with you or on you that is prohibited? This is your last opportunity to say so. <laughs> if they took an exam, they had to hear that over and over. Nine students have completed the rigorous requirements to earn <clears throat> the full IB diploma this year. This distinction requires a minimum of six IB classes, the philosophy class, theory of knowledge, a 4,000 word extended essay, which you can read about in your program, and tracking hours of creativity, activity, and service, while identifying the seven learning outcomes, strengths and growth, challenges and skills, initiative and planning, commitment and perseverance, collaborative skills, global engagement, and ethics of choices and actions. These students have been involved at Newport High School as avid tutors, serving as officers in leadership and school clubs, sports, including cross country, soccer, track, basketball, and golf. They have been involved in the community, in dance, youth symphony, library advocacy, on the police advisory committee and city youth council, as well as working after school jobs. Four of our IB diploma graduates are valedictorians earning a 4.0 GPA and one salutatorian, demonstrating that students can maintain high grades and also be involved in many extracurricular activities while undertaking this challenging program. While the diploma is awarded in July, their achievement is recognized today by the IB medallion they are wearing. Many will also receive college credit and scholarship money for their IB achievements. It is with great respect and admiration that I introduce our IB Diploma candidates. Please stand as I call your names. Valeria Gonzalez will... <laughs> she will attend Oregon State University where she received the Presidential Scholarship and she will study biology. Alyssa Hackworth. She will attend Pacific University in Forest Grove, where she has received over $40,000 in scholarship and grant money. Samuel Hurst will attend the University of Washington, where he has already put his Batman skills to work by earning their purple and gold scholarship. Madeline Husco received multiple local scholarships and will attend the University of Oregon to study psychology with the goal of becoming an occupational therapist. And our IB Diploma Valedictorians, Abigail Green, Samia Mahmood, Harper Thompson, and Julie Zhang, and salutatorian Ameli Lumakinga Lapham. Congratulations and one last round of applause to our 2023 Newport High School International Baccalaureate Diploma candidates. To present the 2023 commencement address, please welcome math teacher, Mr. Brian Hanna.
Good evening, graduates, friends, and family. I am honored to be here today to celebrate your achievements. I hope that you are all excited to start this new chapter in your lives. You've worked hard to get here, and you deserve to be proud of your accomplishments. But before you go out into the world, I want to reflect on a few things with you. As I'm sure you know, this year has marked the 100th anniversary of Lincoln County School District. And this got me thinking about what things the world has learned in the past 100 years. A hundred years ago, we did not know our proper place in the universe. Henrietta Swan Leavitt had just discovered Cepheid variable stars and how to determine their distances, which was later used by Harlow Shapley to determine the size of the Milky Way galaxy, and then by Edwin Hubble and the Marvel Cinematic Universe to determine that ours is not the only galaxy out there. <laughs> Alexander Fleming had not yet discovered life-saving penicillin. The modern concept of the atom had not yet been determined by Erwin Schrodinger. You couldn't have worn one of those protest t-shirts that says, stop plate tectonics, because that wasn't a thing yet. The first movie to premiere in Hollywood land, it wasn't simply Hollywood yet, had happened just a year earlier. In the past century, we have learned about the vastness of the universe, the complexity of life on Earth, and the power of the human mind. In addition, we may finally have an answer to the age-old question about which came first. This past week, I ordered an egg and a chicken from Amazon. I'll let you know the results. <laughs> We've also learned that some things have not changed very much at all. A hundred years ago, sociologists Robert and Helen Lind interviewed high school students and asked them what they argued about with their parents the most. The answers they got were, the number of times you go out on school nights during the week, grades at school, the hour you get in at night, spending money, and use of the car. A hundred years and some things haven't changed that much. Now those same students were asked to look into their future as you were being asked to do right now. And there are some things that they didn't and you won't get right. They thought firefighters would be flying all over the place with bat wings and we would have domesticated whales that we use for intercontinental travel, and of course, that flying cars would be quite common. Obviously, some things we just can't predict. For example, I have no idea what things chat GPT and AI are going to bring for your future, other than maybe some college papers. <laughs> I have no idea if we're all going to become cyborgs with Neuralink implants, or when the zombie apocalypse will happen, or when we are going to finally get those flying cars. But with that uncertainty in mind, I want to give you permission to not know what your future holds. Permission to explore. Permission to change your mind. In short, I am encouraging you to embrace a naive optimism about tomorrow. As an example of this, just yesterday, while I was taking some students on a field trip to OSU for the yearly engineering expo, I ran into a former student finishing his undergraduate degree. He was a 2016 Newport High graduate. You will notice that it has definitely been more than four years since that time. In speaking with him, he mentioned starting at community college, taking time off to work, to pay for school, COVID delays, sorry, Principal Madsen, I used it, and uncertainty in his final goals. And yet, he will now graduate later this month as a literal rocket scientist with a job in his field starting this fall. Back to you, though. Your generation, far more than most, knows that we live surrounded by devices and media and societal forces that tend to drain our personal batteries and sap our energy and attention. Which means that, for each of us, it has never been more important to cultivate our personal sources of renewable energy. In my experience, there are only a few truly unlimited sources of this. They include intellectual curiosity, personal relationships, and a sense of a larger purpose. Curiosity has the potential to endlessly electrify and recharge us. Best of all is if you can find a way to harness your curiosity to serve a purpose larger than yourself. One of the greatest joys in life is the feeling of using your skills to the limit, to do something important for others, your community, your discipline, your institution, your country, or even the whole human family. If you can do that, you will find a free wireless charge wherever you go. This past school year has been transformative and rejuvenating for me in that way. 
and you as a graduating class have helped make it so. The 2021-22 school year was extremely rough for me. My father passed away the very first day of school and my stepmom just seven short weeks later. These events depleted my personal energy reserves and for the first time in my career, work was a burden for me. I looked forward to the end of the school year as I never had before and I admit to being a bit anxious this past September about how this year was going to go. Fortunately, as difficult as the 2021-22 school year was, this year has been 180 degrees opposite of that. Your enthusiasm for learning and your desire to put COVID and all the life-sucking baggage that came with it behind you recharged my reserves and has rekindled my joy of teaching. I cannot thank you enough for that, both personally and professionally. Thank you. As I've just related, not everything is going to be sunshine and optimism, so I wish to share with you a few words to hedge against just those very times. In 1973, the author E.B. White, who you recall wrote Charlotte's Web and Stuart Little, received a letter from a reader who was depressed about the prospects for humanity. In his beautiful response, he wrote the following. As long as there is one upright man, as long as there is one compassionate woman, the contagion may spread, and the scene is not desolate. Hope is the thing that is left to us in a bad time. I shall get up Sunday morning and wind the clock as a, as a contribution to order and steadfastness, steadfastness. Sailors have an expression about the weather. They say, the weather is a great bluffer. I guess the same is true of our human society. Things can look dark. Then a break shows in the clouds, and all is changed, sometimes rather suddenly. It is quite obvious that the human race has made a queer mess of life on this planet, but as a people, we probably harbor seeds of goodness that have lain for a long time, waiting to sprout when the conditions are right. Man's curiosity, relentlessness, inventiveness, and ingenuity have led him into deep trouble. We can only hope that these same traits will enable him to claw his way out. Hang on to your hat, hang on to your hope, and wind the clock for tomorrow is another day. Sincerely, E.B. White. Graduates, I know that you have a, the potential to live a meaningful life. You are smart, you are talented, and you are full of potential. So, wind your personal clocks, charge your personal batteries, go out into the world and make your mark. Good luck and Godspeed, graduates. Thank you. It is now time to present the graduating class of 2023. <laughs> to announce our graduates, please welcome teachers Mr. Ellingson, Ms. Newby, Mr. Ryan, Ms. Tuck, and to present diplomas, please welcome teachers Mrs. Rasmussen and Mrs. Weiss. Donovan Rion. Chris Dotson. Jonathan Velasquez. Santos Pablo. Brad Montgomery. <laughs> Naomi Edmonds. <laughs> Zoe Cody. <laughs> Alyssa Hackworth.
Michael Johnson. Matthew Anthony Young. Hunter Scott Stalker. Kiona Chappelle. Joseph Carl Greenwald. Gavin Reed Harner. Danielle Aaron Mindy Reyes. Antonio Pedro Flaco Rodriguez. Tristan Roy Biddinger. Elisha James Hassel. <laughs> Caleb Malloy. <laughs> Avonlea Wolf. <laughs> Kaylee Hart. Alexa Cleveland. Myra Jimenez. Daisy Saavedra Colomo. Augustus Gerbo. Sean Paul McManus. Jose Julio Hernandez Hernandez. Malcolm T. Bearden. James David Orton. Sylvie Coleman. Uh, Kaylee Jo Gower. Gracelyn Naomi Marie Nickerson. Olivia Alexis Martinez Kazee. <laughs> Belia Sophie Grass. Echo Michelle Daig Davis. Mackenzie Addison McDonald. Nick Castillo. Donovan Cutler. Aliyah Acosta Shriver. Eduardo Romero Yanez. Christopher Omar Martinez Barrios.
Caden Lee Sloan. Axel Fields. Vincent J. Sanderson. Christian Martinez. Adela Hernandez. Vincenzo Bruno. Janice Chen. Charlene Pastoff. Yuli Maria Vladarova. Simone Eleanor Hildenbrand. Lily Strumwasser. Emily Ann Elizabeth Selfridge. Christine Orton. Amelia Torres. Kendall Nicole Zemer. Amara Elbrader. Chloe Schubert. Caleb Scott Shones. Shalice Marie Young. Abby Jara Locklear. Raya Sindent Singh. Eduardo Landa Perez. Byron Velasquez Oliveira. Karen Beatriz Partida Montano. Nau Flores Balderas. Evan Michael McAfee. Aiden Albert McAfee. Lily Rich. Kayla Figueroa. Colt Ryman Green. Mako Pruitt. James Farron. Gabriel Jonathan Keel. Kaylin Shin Bunker. Danielle Elizabeth Sears. Sebastian Sebastian Martin.
Ashley Mello Lira. Lisbeth Paola Romero Rivera. Haley Leanne Wiles. Savannah Marie Richardson. Lydia Clementine Miller. Jocelyn Jeanette Wirtz. Chloe Rain Brandis. Maya Stout. Catherine Jobeth Huber. Madeline Pearl Husco. Ryan Ellis Young. Valeria Gonzalez. <laughs> Ameli Mar Yuma King Alapam. Samiha Sakina Mahmood. Harper Rose Thompson. Keenan Damian Williams. Ted Daniel Stock. Alicia Pina. Anastasia Jolyn Caldy. Taylor May Schaffner. Victoria Elizabeth Smith. Emma Marie Schaffner. Jonathan Peter Weiss. Abigail McPherson Green. Piper Lynn Thompson. Lilybell Marie Bassingwaite. Lane Grace Phillips. Marcus Ray Everett. Landon Douglas Cunningham. Julie Suyi Zhang. Kassen Cam Schwab. Gael Maldonado Galicia. <laughs> Jack Sandon Kozlovsky. Samuel Isaac Hurst.
La Ladies and gentlemen, the Newport High graduating class of 2023. In closing, I would like to thank everyone for coming tonight, and I invite parents, families, and friends to meet their students on the football field immediately following the ceremony. Uh, you may exit the doors behind me or through um, the doors in the front. We ask that you please remain where you are um, until all the graduates have exited the gymnasium. Now, I am honored to present to you the Newport High graduating class of 2023.